what's going on, my pins friends? Ain't nothing but a thing over here. I'm Larry, and I'm going to be your host today on the Larry Fountain Pin Review Show. Ding a ling a ling. <laughs> well, I hope everybody's doing well and being safe. The virus is a big thing here in the U.S., and uh, I think people are starting to panic. When you go to the stores, the shelves are almost completely empty as far as the hand, uh, hand sanitizers and the toilet tissue and napkins. They're just all completely gone. Uh, and they're doing some of that with the food as well. So, you know, my thing is, you, you, you know, don't panic because panic is not going to help solve anything, right? But be on your guard because this virus is nothing to play with. But so, you know, the flu is nothing to play with either. You know, so real quick, because I know if you've heard this a thousand times, but I want to share it with you again since we're all in this together. You know, wash your hands a good 10 seconds, well, they say with water, and then with soap and water. But what really kill, kills that germ, they're saying, is the hand sanitizer. Well, right now it's hard to find hand sanitizer. So I will be making my own hand sanitizer. So, I've asked around some people that are in the pen business, uh, is this going to affect the, the pen shows? And will they have the pen shows since... A lot of things are canceling. Sports are being canceled. Uh, a lot of the schools are starting to cancel. Colleges as well. Uh, St. Patrick Parade. A lot of events are going to cancel. Uh, so, and I've had a couple of people, a couple of three people tell me that he's not sure if the pin shows will actually close, but he's probably thinking there's not going to be as quite as many as there was last year. It'll probably be a thin down crowd. So that's going to be interesting. The question is, will I be going? We'll just have to see. Probably not. I don't want to get around the big crowds. I don't mind small crowds because I still need to protect me because I, I'm in that age bracket. Right with those health issues, so I definitely need to be kind of standoffish and take care of me. So, uh, guys out there, be safe. Seriously, keep your loved ones safe, uh, but enjoy life. You know, enjoy doing what you do. Uh, so that's all I want to just touch base on. So let's get into the pen, my friend. So the pen I want to show you is right like it here right in this box and the pin comes from it's Etsy there you go let's open it up well oh, here's a card uh, regular just a box cardboard box nothing fancy and this is how it comes with one converter and a converter I mean I'm sorry one ink cartridge and a converter get it right yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. wow man. so now that's cool. Now let's show you the pen for a little bit here. La 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 la. Here it is. Beautiful pen. Now this is the Celtic design. Beautiful design. Look at the Celtic designs on this pen. And we'll go over this pen nice and slow. The material of this pen it's going to be metal, wood, brass, pewter, and gold. Handmade. So, when you order a pen like this, I think the gentleman was saying you have to give him at least six days. Something like that. Uh, I thought it was six weeks. Six weeks? I don't have no idea. So, give him six weeks. Uh so he can put it all together. So let's look what else. Okay, so uh, traditionally the Celtic. Celtic. 
not thank you mr announcer for joining in on the fun mr announcer's having a good time aren't we well it is my pen after all oh you had to say that <laughs> see, see so anyway so here's the knot celtic knots right here they look good but anyway uh they use only one thread symbolizing the connection between life and eternity they are beautiful look at that stunning and stunning nice wood and as you go up to the top of the finial i do like the design and the jewel on top reminds me you know this kind of stuff reminds me of the uh uh harry potter or the uh what was the other one with the uh oh uh, my uh, precious uh, oh lord of the rings lord of the rings yeah you know where he has that big uh staff <clears throat> That looks pretty cool. So here it is. Now, this pin, the length of this pin capped is 157.7 mils. Posted, it's 1.75 mils. And the weight of this pin is a little heavier pin, but not really all that heavy. It's like 61.8 G's on this. Now, I just want to. Uh, Check out the Jin Hao 159 and let you know comparison. Now this one weighs in at 49.7 G's. 49.7 and this one is 61.8. A little more heft. But it still doesn't feel all that heavy. Nice looking pin. Let's un pull it off, and it is a magnet. Now that's pretty cool. So let's down the barrel here. There is a slight step off. It doesn't have really a big grip, so because I hold my fingers down right here, so it's going to cover up this whole section, grip section, right here. And some people with larger fingers will probably have to hold it right here. And the nib on this is a uh, looks. It's not a real. Yeah, it's not a big nib. And I think this nib could be a medium nib. I'm not sure. Well, it has number two on the feed, so. I know it's the uh, rhodium point German those basic nibs they use for these pins. Uh, it could be a number five nib. Let's unscrew it, and there you have that. So we're going to go ahead and put this converter in it. Now that's in there nice and securely. And we're going to end this, ink this baby up with some Monteverde Sapphire ink. So, let's go down the barrel real quick. And it kind of stays the same all the way through. As far as the girth wise. So, let me get this going on. And we can see what it's going to be like. Uh, 13 points. 13.5 right in about here is the widest on the barrel. And we'll go to the cap. Right about here at 13.2 millimeters right there right about in there now one thing about the the pin you're going to have your cap it's always going to be kind of loose and turning or you know some pins like Jin Hao it's a screw on 
and it's not going to turn. Or let's just say your uh, Lamy Safari, you can turn, but there's not a whole lot of play in that. Where this one, it's a whole lot of play, but it's not going to come off until you do that. Now, does the pin post? Well, you see this end right here. And that's also a magnet. And as you see, the knob at the end of the barrel turns the whole section round and it comes off bow just like that. So, and this you can pull the pin completely, take it out completely out if you choose to. to. So that's in there nice and tight. And again, it's got a good magnet on the end there. Nice suction on that, yeah. It, good magnet. It's got a nice powerful magnet on it. Nice looking pin though overall. Here's the Celtic right there. Bam. So let's do the Jin Hao 159. Of course the Celtic is bit longer but then the Jinhao 159 has more girth to it though let's shoot this against the Lombi All-Star same thing longer more girth than the Safari ah let's put out my Sailor King of Pins big pin this is a little bit longer than the King of Pins, and, but it looks like the King of Pins has a bit more girth than the Celtic. What do you think? Yes. Last but not least, we'll put the Mont Blanc JFK against it. And it's going to be about the same. The Celtic is a little bit longer, and the JFK has a little bit more girth than the Celtic does. So, it's interesting. Okay, how pins match up. So, uh, it does use standard uh, cartridges as well. Short and long, I believe it's set. So that's that. For those who like using a cartridge. So let's see how this pin writes. Because that's what I am always interested in. And we're going to go ahead and ink it up. All right, here we go. There you go. Bum, 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 bum. So how was school today, Mr. Announcer? Oh, it was pretty good. Cool. All right. Now, it is time to do some writing. Here we went. All right. Celtic wood. Turned fountain pen. Classic wood. All right. Mm-hmm. And you see where I hold my pen on here. Now, not a bad nib. And we'll check for 
witness. It's not a very wet nib. And some more fast riding. And no skips. Try some reverse riding. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And do it a little faster. And it does do well for those who like to do reverse writing. Downstroke and the cross stroke, about the same. So check for witness again. Now that's a little bit more juicier there. Much more juicier. Let's try this again for wetness. I'm getting a lot more wetness now. There you go. Well, as you saw up here, it wasn't wet at all. It's kind of dry, which is boring to me. But then down here, it has picked up now. Now it's starting to have some more juice to it and I like it when it's like that. Now this is going to be wet. So this is no pressure and this is with pressure. You can get a little bit of line variation out of there. Not a lot but enough. So there you have it. What do you think about the Celtic Wood uh, turned fountain pen? Handmade. The material again is the metal, the wood, the brass, pewter and gold. Really a beautiful job. You know, the knots look really nice on the pen. Nice looking grain of wood on here. I like the jewel on top. I like the way you can disassemble it. I, I like you can have a choice or a converter or a cartridge. Uh, it's, it's a nice size pen and you do not have to post it if you don't want to have small hands. And you can see how it fits in my hand. The only problem you're going to have with this pen is uh, your, your uh, grip is just way too small and needs to be a little bit longer. Uh, so I'm holding it right here on the end of the barrel and on the grip. And so I find that uncomfortable for long riding sessions. Uh, but I will do an update on this pen uh, to see how it performs throughout the months and uh, the nib is a friction fit nib and there you have it leave your comments below tell me what you think about this pen not a bad looking pen I'll give it that well that's going to wrap this one up for now until our next meet God bless be safe and remember please don't text and drive bye bye